So using the techniques from before, what we want to do in this video is to superimpose y equals 2 over x, uh, 2 over x squared and y equals 6 over x squared onto the same graph. So we now know what y equals 1 over x squared looks like. So if I was to draw y equals 2 over x squared, I'm going to draw that one in blue. Okay, so what it would look like is something like this. Ooh. Must be a little bit careful with the graph. Okay, so something like that. So this would be y equals 2 over x squared. Now that's 6 over x squared. Okay, well, because you've, you're multiplying the 1 over x squared by a greater number, this time 6 instead of 2, it's going to pull the graph further away from the x-axis. It's going to stretch it uh, parallel to the y-axis. So it's going to look similar, but it's going to appear further up. Okay, so this would be y is equal to 6 over x squared. Okay, for example. Um, so you should also be thinking about, well, it makes sense that it would do that um, because although they should be decreasing kind of in a similar rate, um, when x is 1, for example, this will be at 6, but that will be at 2, okay? So whereas that might be 2 and that might be 6, you are at um, that point. So you could draw a point onto the graph, if you like, as well. So that's the first one. So what's going to happen when I stick a minus sign in front? Well, we know what y equals 1 over x squared looks like. So something like that. Oh, well. There we are. So if I stick a minus in front of the graph, that means that the y values of the graph pre previously will be made negative, will change a sign. So both of these parts of the graph are above the x-axis, so they are positive currently. But when I put a minus in front, they will become negative, and so it will, re will reflect the graph in the x-axis. So now the graph will look something like that instead. So if I'm going to sketch both of these graphs, then y equals minus 3 over x squared will look something like that. And y equals minus 7 over x squared because it's uh, being stretched further than this first graph will appear something like this. So there is y equals minus 7 over x squared. And this is your y equals minus 3 over x squared. Okay? And that's how we can superimpose two of those graphs.